Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, I am trying out a new recipe tonight. It is called Unstuffed Cabbage Casserole, and I'll make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. But in my skillet, I have some lean ground beef, olive oil, bell pepper, onion, and garlic. And to that, I am going to add a can of diced tomatoes. And I got my seasonings. Here are my seasonings right here. I have, um, I know you can't see them very well, but I have garlic powder, onion powder, garlic salt. I have some Italian seasoning as well. And give that a stir. And then I have about one pound of chopped cabbage in here that I've cleaned and chopped. And I'm just going to add this in. And then I am just going to cover this until the cabbage is wilted down. So it's at about 20 minutes or so. And then when the cabbage has wilted, I am just going to add in my shredded cheese here. So I will be back and show you the finished product. All right, so here is the casserole. I ended up um, cooking it on top of the stove top for about half an hour. And as you can see, the melted cheese is on there and it's pretty good, I tasted it. I did have to add more seasoning to it after I got the cabbage and meat all mixed up. It was a little bit bland. Um, and then here is a breadstick that we're having on the side. These are the breadsticks that I'm using and we tried them for the first time last week and really liked them a lot. So having these again. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having a quick and easy dinner tonight. We are having frozen pizza. That is my go-to meal when I don't feel like cooking. So we are using, or eating I should say, the Signature Select Supreme Pizza that I picked up from Tom Thumb a while back ago. And here it is on the pizza pan. And then we are also having some um, Korean barbecue style wings. And I've talked about these before on our What's For Dinner videos. They are by Foster Farm and they are crispy takeout wings. I picked them up from Costco, but they do sell them in the grocery store. Of course, it's much cheaper at Costco. These wings are so good. They are probably my favorite wings, uh, frozen wings to eat because they fry them a little bit before they package them. So when you get them, they're nice and crispy already. I just cooked mine in the air fryer for about 20 minutes and at 370 and then I tossed them with the sauce that comes in the bag. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I am trying out a new recipe today. It is called green chili chicken casserole. The first thing I did is made a box of this, which is like a generic rice aroni. I made it according to package directions. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is um, I have about three cups of chicken that I had in my freezer. I just boiled it. It's dark meat, it's uh, legs. I just boiled it, took the meat off of the bone and I've got it in my bowl here. I'm adding in a can of diced green chilies. Now, if you wanted to make this more kid-friendly, you don't have to add the diced green, diced green chilies to it. So I'm adding that in. I'm also adding in a can of cream of chicken. And then I am adding in a half of a cup of sour cream. Gonna give it a stir. And then 
And here I have an eight ounce block of pepper jack cheese that I shredded. I'm gonna put half in now and then half on top of the casserole. Again, if you wanted to make it more kid friendly, you could use just regular pepper, I'm, I'm sorry, regular Monterey Jack cheese instead. So that's about half. I'm gonna give that a stir. And now I'm going to add in my rice mixture. And I've got my oven preheating to 350 degrees. I've got my pan here and I greased it. It's an 11 by seven pan. And I am just going to pour my rice mixture in. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about half an hour and I'll be back. All right, so here is the casserole. I baked it for about 30 minutes. Howard and I tasted it and we both like it. We think it's pretty good. We don't think it's very hot at all. Um, just a very mild spice. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And if I didn't mention it earlier, I will put the recipe in the description box. So we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having some grilled pork chops in my freezer. I had these thin cut boneless chops, Howard grilled them for us. And then I made some baked beans to go with it. Um, the baked beans are bushes, but I always doctor mine up. I chopped up some bacon and um, green bell pepper, sauteed it, and then I added in my baked beans and barbecue sauce, and then I baked them. And then I had a half a head of cabbage left over from that cabbage casserole that I did earlier in the week, and so I just fried it up with some bacon, so we're having fried cabbage. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, Howard grilled out some burgers, and so this is Howard's plate. So I did butter and grill our buns. He has a secret sauce on his bun right there, and it is from Walmart. And then he is also having wedge potato fries, which are right here, finishing these off. These are from Walmart as well. And then on his burger, he has some bacon, tomato, and cheese. He would have had an avocado, but it wasn't quite ripe yet. This is my plate. And as you know, I'm not a big condiment person, so I just have bacon and cheese on mine. I'm also having these potato chips that I got from Trader Joe's a while back ago that I needed to use. We've got, well, Howard has some ketchup for his fries. For the burger seasoning, I used this. Um, I need to start using my seasonings because uh, I have a cabinet full of seasonings and spices. So this is Fiesta brand, which is a brand made here in Texas. And that is what I use to season the burger meat. So this is what we are having for dinner and we will see you guys next time.